They've been put on notice. If you fuck around with us, if you do something bad to us, we are going to do things to you that have never been done before. Don't sit yet. Get a right kiss. Civilization have no idea of the sleeping giant they have awoken. They cannot even begin to imagine the brave and righteous spirit they've unleashed in men and women like all of you. But they're going to find out the hard way. They will find out like never before. This nation belongs to you. Belongs to you. It was patriots like you that built this country, and it's patriots like you that are going to save our country. To all of those who think that they can coerce and subjugate the citizens of this land, hear these words from me tonight. The people of America will not surrender our borders. We will not surrender our culture. We will not surrender our faith. We will not surrender our values. We will not surrender our history. We will not surrender our liberty. And above all, we will not surrender our children. We are done with their distorted visions for America. It's time to start talking about greatness for our country again. We want our country to be great again. We want our country to be respected. The time for action has come. As long as we are left. Politicians who will not put America first, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. A small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. The establishment protected itself, but not the citizens of our country. That all changes starting right here and right now. America will start winning again, winning like never before. I will never, ever let you down. But now, my sole and exclusive mission 
is to go to work for our country, to go to work for you. It's time to deliver a victory for the American people. We don't win anymore, but we are going to start winning again. I will always give you my love. You are most special to me. critics and cynics we will bring back our jobs we will bring back our borders we will bring back our wealth and we will bring back our dreams from mountain to mountain from ocean to ocean hear these words you will never be ignored again and yes together we will make america great again Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They are not our friend, believe me. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and it's gotta stop. And it's gotta stop fast. The time for empty talk is over. Now arrives the hour of action. Do not allow anyone to tell you that it cannot be done. No challenge can match the heart and fight and spirit of America. My message is that things have to change, and they have to change right now.
It's going to be only America first. America first. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's death involved. though that if you did run for president you believe you'd win well i don't know i think i'd win i tell you what i wouldn't go in to lose i've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life and and if i did decide to do it i think i'd be inclined i would i would say that i would have a hell of a chance of winning because i think people i don't know how your audience feels but i think people are tired of seeing the united states ripped off if i were running the view i'd fire rose fire rose I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired, you're fired, 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 fired. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and inside. And inside, 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 inside. Rosie's a person that's very lucky to have her girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. And she better be careful or I'll send one of my friends over to pick up a girlfriend, 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 girlfriend. You're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired.
Never stop fighting for what you believe in and for the people who care about you. Carry yourself with dignity and pride. Demand the best from yourself and be totally unafraid to challenge entrenched interests and failed power structures. The more people tell you it's not possible, that it can't be done, the more you should be absolutely determined 
to prove them wrong. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be an outsider. Embrace that label. Being an outsider is fine. Embrace the label. Because it's the outsiders who change the world and who make a real and lasting difference. The more that a broken system tells you that you're wrong, the more certain you should be that you must keep pushing ahead. You must keep pushing forward.